Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I would like to quote uh, verbatim from the reply of the Honourable Minister regarding this question. It says, further technologies for separation, partitioning and burning of waste are being developed in the country, which will further bring down the quantity of radioactive waste. I would like to ask, does it mean that it is still in the offshoot stage? Also, the second sentence, I quote, considering the small quantity of radioactive waste, there is no need for deep geological repository in near future. I feel it is unfair to uh, decide about the necessity of the repository, considering the quantity of the radioactive waste. Any day, an at atomic reactor is like a Democlusis sword hanging about. We have had the worst examples from Bhopal. So you have to take this issue very seriously and provide a double guarded uh, repository place for the waste and also a construction of DGR without considering the quantity as a standard. I would like the minister to give uh, uh, a convincing reply to this. Thank you. I am uh, honourable speaker. I am glad that uh, the honourable member has raised this issue. And I'll, I think it uh, requires to be shared with the rest of the House. And uh, as she said that I should give a convincing answer, I hope I'll be able to convince her also along with the other members. See, the point over here is that the radiation which you are referring possibly, Honorable Member, is not something which is in the lethal or a virulent criteria. In some of the countries in the world today, like for example France, we have nuclear plants in residential colonies. So the safeguard mechanisms are so well built. And when this issue came up in the house a few years ago, I did a small research to find out how many scientists in the Bhava Atomic Center had actually died of radiation or fallen sick because of radiation. So I took out the mortality list and found that there were hardly about three or four untimely deaths and out of them two of cancers which were not related to radiation. In other words, what I am trying to say is that first of all, I think it is the responsibility of all of us and to launch a mass awareness campaign that there is no radiation risk to the health from these nuclear plants because the mechanism is so safeguardly built. Because otherwise, what is happening is that wherever we start a new plant uh, plan, or maybe try to use that exploration site for the future prospects of building a plant. The mass uh, awareness, because of its lack, there are certain kinds of uh, apprehensions, resentments, and then the political protests also come in. We face this in Rajasthan, we face this in Northeast Meghalaya. As far as the closed fuel processing is concerned, which you are saying, this deposit deep down, maybe 15 meter or below the surface of the earth, is something which has been practiced, tried, and found to be reliable after a number of years and number of experimentation. And the, atmos the atomic energy plants in India are following some of the most stringent methods of monitoring. Right from the beginning, right from the time, once the plant is uh, planned, even before the construction starts, there is a deep scrutiny. During the construction, every three months there is a scrutiny. After construction also every six months. After five months there is a review. Uh, sorry, after five years. After three years. And then after five years we have a mechanism to get it reviewed by the external sources. Because we have an atom atomic energy regulatory board. Upon that we also then allow it to be monitored and scrutinized by the international board of which US is also a member. So I think uh, this is a time tested uh, phenomenon which is going on and there has been secondly why this apprehension comes the honorable member I must appreciate it he was referring to some of the incidents which happened abroad also like Fukushima or all those were the cases where because of the lack of experience of the scientific fraternity at that time those plants were located closer to what is known as the new synomonic zone where in in our case the Kundakulam plant for example is the, the Sumanonic zone is uh, in uh, Indonesia, which is nearly 1300 kilometers away. No, no. Yes. So, yes. Sismic zone or similar. So, on the other hand, 
the other plants which are located in the western coast tarapur etc for them the nearest point is in pakistan which is uh, again about more than 1000 km away so i think that apprehension is also not substantiated by scientific parameters so i think we can be rest assured rather all of us should try to create some mass awareness so that we can go ahead with this expansion program because now we have brought the atomic energy plants even to north india closer to delhi we are having one in haryana so i think in that expansion campaign that we have started mass awareness would be a great help question number 4